a.m. And today is December 2nd, my mom's birthday. Tomorrow actually happens to be my birthday. So December 2nd and December 3rd is kind of like a mother-daughter birthday in my house. And I wanted to talk about something a little relevant to that today. December birthdays. And the reason for that is I feel like December birthdays have a really bad rep and I feel like everybody who says their birthday's in December constantly has to defend it. So I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about it on this new series that I'd like to call Real Talk, where I just kind of divulge into topics that I think are important or relevant to my life somehow or that I'd like to get into detail about. Everything in this video is just my opinion, it's just my experience. I'm not trying to push my opinions on anybody. I'm just trying to talk about something that I think about a lot. Or maybe I don't think about it a lot, but I do think about it every time I tell someone about my birthday. <laughs> I'm sure there are people in December who don't feel exactly as I do, so if you don't feel that way, it's totally fine. This is just my opinion and these are just my views. So I'm not entirely sure about what I'm titling this video yet, but I'm aiming for something along the lines of five things December babies experience often. I'm not titling this video five things only December babies will understand because you know, I understand that these experiences aren't exclusive to people born in December. I just feel like I see it the most often with December babies, but I want to make sure this is as open as possible. So I think that's a good title. You know, five things December babies experience often. Number one, receiving an automatic assumption from other people that your birthday sucks. This doesn't really annoy me anymore, but it definitely gets repetitive, and I feel like every time I tell someone my birthday is in December, I get the whole, oh, hey, when's your birthday? Uh, it's, it's December 3rd. Oh. Oh, December? I'm sorry to hear that. Wait, wait, I, I like it. I, I think it's nice, right? Right? When you go around automatically assuming things like that, you're doing a disservice to yourself. Obviously, it's okay to have an initial perception of something, but when you make an automatic assumption that you're just going to keep in your head as is and you're not going to make any changes to it, you're shaping the world around you according to your assumptions rather than according to your experiences. This is also harmful because you're not taking in new things. I'd like to stress that obviously there is no one type of person. Like, I don't know anybody who always makes assumptions and anybody who always doesn't. Like, most people I know do a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I guess that goes a lot bigger than December birthdays. Assuming things all the time isn't the best choice. Fine line between being cautious and perceiving things and just making assumptions. I think the most frustrating thing to me is when I tell people, oh no, I actually really like my birthday and they're just kind of like, mm-hmm. Okay, you know, it's really close to Christmas, but whatever. When somebody tells you how they feel, don't tell them that they don't feel that way, maybe? Number two, people telling you that your birthday is a waste because you only get presents once in the month. This kind of, I have a few things to say about that. This also kind of ties in with the whole, even if you do get presents for your birthday and for your uh, Christmas, you still have to wait for an entire year for that to happen. So I'm going to kind of lump those two together. So here's a few things I have to say. One, in my family, I usually do get presents for my birthday and for Christmas. Usually when I get lumped together presents, it's from friends, but that's okay. And I'm going to get to why that's okay in a second. Number two about that is if the worst thing about my birthday is that I only get one present, that's pretty good. <laughs> I mean, I like my birthday because I'm not going to lie. I like hearing happy birthday from everybody. I like going out. I like kind of celebrating a new year. So if I don't get a gift, that's really not bad. The third thing is the best stuff comes out in December because it is Christmas every time December hits. If you go to Hot Topic in December, they got the good stuff. You want to go to Think Geek? Who's got the good stuff and who's got the amazing sales? December does. And when you're born in December or like late November, you get to experience all the good stuff twice. That is pretty cool. I know that kind of counteracted the whole I don't need a gift thing, but when you do get gifts, you get the best stuff twice. So what if you have to wait an entire year to get your gifts? You still get it twice and you still get the best stuff. Oh, that's a loud plane, but whatever. And in the situations where you do get only one thing, a lumped together birthday Christmas gift, you still get one really cool thing because all the best stuff is out in December. So that's the third thing about that. There is no shame here. A lump together gift or not, best stuff comes out in December because of Christmas, and you get to experience it tenfold. Is tenfold the right word? Maybe like times a hundred? I don't know. The fourth thing, and in my opinion the most important, is it's a gift. A gift in and it of itself 
is already such a blessing. So if I get one thing from a friend and they're just like, this is your birthday and your Christmas gift, I'm sorry, I'm just like, hey, first of all, don't apologize. Second of all, thanks for thinking of me. I mean, I'd like to point out, you don't have to give me a gift to show me you're thinking of me, but when someone gives me a gift, I don't care if it's lumped together, you've given me a birthday and Christmas gift, you got me something, that's really, that's really nice. And even if you didn't get me something, if you wish me a happy birthday, if you give me a hug, if you give me a smile, if you show kindness, I am so happy! So when people tell me that like, ah, oh, the birthday and the presents thing really stinks, I'm sorry that your birthday's in December because of the present thing, I'm just like, but that's not a problem. Getting a gift is already a blessing, and I'm not gonna crap on someone for giving me only one gift. That's still really nice, and I'm still super appreciative of it, and I'm, I'm grateful. So, you know, when you're telling December babies that the worst thing about their birthday is that they only get one lumped together gift, you're really not telling them anything that bad. I mean, gifts are fun. I'm not gonna lie. I'm not gonna sit here and pretend like I don't like getting gifts, okay? I think they're super fun, and they're really fun to open, and it's always fun to see, like, what a person thinks that you would like, and it's always wonderful to see their face, you know, when you're opening it, and they're just like, ah. But if we don't get them, it's okay, and if it gets lumped into a Christmas gift, so be it. Gifts are awesome, and that's that. Number three, scheduling birthday parties is very difficult. I feel like this is something that anybody who has a birthday near a holiday can understand, but I know December is usually extra hectic, and people are going everywhere purchasing presents and doing things for themselves and for others. Being in college actually made it the hardest because my birthday always fell the week before finals. Unfortunately, there isn't much that I can say about that, Birthday parties are just tough. Usually to get around that, I would be that person who celebrates my birthday in January, which I never minded, because, I mean, as long as it's purposed for my birthday, I don't actually mind it being a month later. So that, that one's just that. That one I'm leaving at that, that birthday parties are hard. Number four, being told by people that buying presents on your birthday for other people must stink. This kind of goes back to two points ago where I talked about how gifts are a blessing and this and the other thing, but I'm gonna go into this one a little bit because it is kind of its own category, because I do hear it a lot. And I mentioned that, you know, when you open a present, you always see the person kind of staring at you like, ooh, are you gonna like it? Well, being on the other end of that is awesome. I just went Christmas shopping today. My birthday is tomorrow. I might still go Christmas shopping tomorrow because it's a good day for me to go. It's Saturday. Shopping for other people on my birthday has actually never stung for me. I don't know how other December babies feel. I actually feel like we could start a really cool dialogue here, December babies. Like, do you want to talk about this? I also, around my birthday, I really love the Christmas vibe and going Christmas shopping on my birthday is actually really relaxing because I can see all the Christmas decorations and all the new stuff that's out. So I actually think it's really fun to buy gifts for other people on my birthday. Never been a problem for me. Number five, being told that it's a shame that your birthday decorations mix with Christmas decorations. I'm gonna kind of start this off with a little bit of background. So in my house, it's always been a tradition to have the Christmas tree up before my mom's birthday, which is December 2nd. Yes, our Christmas tree has been up for like three days now. So one of my favorite things to do on my birthday is, well, after I went out or whatever, if I do go out on my birthday, because sometimes, like I said, I party in January. But at night, I like to just sit by the tree on my birthday, whether I have hot chocolate or like a sketchbook, and I just like to sit there and enjoy the tree. Christmas decorations on my birthday is actually one of my favorite things. It's also because it's seasonal, you know? It's December, not only am I feeling birthday vibes, but I'm also feeling Christmassy vibes, I'm feeling holiday vibes. Sweaters, hot chocolate, red and green, blue and silver. So I guess my final thing to say about that is the balloon tinsel vibe is one of my favorites. And that's it. I just thought that would be fun to talk about because once again, December birthdays kind of have a bad rep and I feel like everybody who mentions that their birthday's in December usually finds themselves immediately having to defend it. And I just thought it would be kind of fun to get that, to just kind of talk about that. I want to see if maybe fellow December babies agree. And if you're not a December baby, what did you think? Well, I mean, I want to know what everybody thinks, but you know what I mean. So I don't want to speak up for anybody else. I don't want anybody to think I'm speaking for all December babies, but I just thought it would be fun to kind of tell you my thoughts and make a few points. Thank you everybody for joining me on my very first Real Talk that I've been wanting to do for a very long time. If you like this video, hit subscribe or give a like or don't. I don't know. So this has been Real Talk. My name is Sam and I will see you next time. Bye! almost fell over.